Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. Um, I am going to talk today about a book that I reviewed on Amazon and Google a couple of days ago, but as video is very much the platform um, I'm feeling most comfortable engaging with right now, uh, I said I would put up a video because there's really a lot to unpack about this book. It's called, But It's Your Family, Cutting Ties with Toxic Family Members and Loving Yourself in the Aftermath by Dr. Uh, Sherry Campbell and I've just added it at which way am I pointing here this way this way this way uh, I've added it there onto my screen I'll blow it up for a second just so you can see uh, the book uh, so this is what it is <sighs> firstly um, yeah this is definitely a uh, important book or rather it promised uh, to be an important book within the whole world of uh, narcissistic abuse and emotional abuse and verbal abuse and they they tend to go hand in hand there is a small literature of uh, books on this subject matter uh, there's definitely books like there's a very well-known book called uh, adult children of emotionally immature adults parents did i get that right i think i got that slightly wrong but those who are aware of this space uh, know what book i'm talking about um what i was particularly looking for in this book was something that went past that so i've talked about the reddit communities which are wonderful online spaces for people uh who've dealt with relatives who uh, behave in toxic or north or abusive manners towards them and um the way it's separated on reddit and i think this is not just a smart thing for reddit it's a great paradigm to look at it is there is a subreddit called raised by narcissists for people who are like hmm this doesn't feel normal and uh could this be gaslighting and you get you kind of get people coming out of the fog there um and then there's one called life after narcissism i have a separate video on the narcissistic support subreddits if you're if you've never used reddit before Reddit is particularly good at this area of uh, support groups because of the fact that a lot of people uh, need to remain anonymous. I'm just neurotically editing the size of the cover a little bit here. Excuse me for a moment. Um, so that's a reason in itself to explore Reddit to check out uh, check out these groups. Um, so what I was looking for, if if we use that distinction between raised by narcissists and life after narcissism, I was looking for the life after narcissism book. Okay, we know what uh narcissism narcissistic abuse toxic abuse uh sorry um verbal abuse emotional abuse we know what it looks like we know what the patterns of gaslighting uh hoovering all the jargon i can never even remember the jargon myself but there's a lot of it we've become aware of these dynamics i was going to use a word woke and it's uh better not to we've become aware that at dynamics we know what kind of a situation we're enmeshed in and now our focus has shifted to moving on. Where, whether we're in a position of no contact, uh, commonly uh, uh, acron acronymized as NC or very low contact, VLC or gray rocking or whatever stratagem we are using that's allowing us to minimize the damage from this person in our life. Um, we've got there and now we're looking to rebuild a new kind of life with a surrogate family or a community of trusted and loved uh, friends who can provide us the uh, emotional support and backing that we didn't get from our uh, family of origin um, as the terminology is currently called so this was what this this was my expectation for but it's your family and i don't think it's an unreasonable expectation maybe i I did order it in a haste, so maybe I sort of didn't study the cover um, as carefully as I should have. But, so I have a few good things to say about this book and a few criticisms about this book. The first thing is there definitely is a lot of good material in here uh, regarding all that stuff that I mentioned in the Raised by Narcissist part of the picture. In other words, there's a lot of good explanation here about what abusive relationships look like, and how to recognize toxicity and why it's better to free yourself from toxicity and all this kind of good stuff right you can't um if but that's not the reason i bought this book i bought this book for the uh post no can post no contact post boundary setting stage and you're at that point where you're like well what now how do i if, if this is your case and i'm not saying this is my case this is just want to be clear this re this review is not necessarily referring to me or my personal situation 
Um, but you're at that point where you're like, okay, I'm now scared. And this is an emotion that comes up in this book. You know, she mentions after you go no contact, the most common feelings are those of anxiety, uh, liberation and anxiety at the same time. You're free from having to put up with a uh, constant belittlement, uh, negative comments, hurtful comments, abuse, but you're like, I'm on my own in the world. And you know, a lot of people are not necessarily on their own in the world, like literally, you have friends, uh, I have a wife, um, but there is something uh, powerful that I read once on the internet that these ties, it's impossible really to be a full surrogate for the supportive ties one should have with their family. So even if you have a fantastic husband, a fantastic wife, an amazing community of friends, there's still this missing place that comes from uh, that kind of gaping wound uh, that you experience. So that's, and again, she does mention at some point, Sher Sherry Campbell mentions, you know, after you do the no contact, you're gonna feel afraid, you're gonna feel, um, you're gonna feel free and afraid, but this really comes, I'm just looking at the book here, chapter nine, hoovering, separation abuse. We're already into kind of, it takes all the way to chapter nine, and this is just the, this is chapter nine and the remaining part of the book, and this is the foregoing in the book. So it takes all the way till the very end before we actually get to, uh, and the healing process, for instance, I'm just looking for what chapter that is, that's chapter 12, we're really at the tail end of the book. So the majority of this book is actually taken up with, um, describing narcissistic dynamics. That's my first criticism is that it was good. It was good content. I don't criticize that. And I don't criticize her description. You can see toxic. I'm, I'm just leafing through the chapters here. Toxic mothers, toxic fathers, toxic adult children. You're not crazy. Uh, no contact, but that's the majority of the text. Unfortunately, uh, the mad, the maddening world of manipulation. Again, all these are really, really important things to, to cover, but um this was not the book i was looking for i was looking for something very specific the second criticism and i've seen a lot of people on amazon saying this and it, it annoyed me more and more as the book continued was the author it feels like she wrote this book for two reasons one of those was to help people um and the second one was to rage against her own abuse which is understandable i'm not a believer in revenge um, I think healing is the objective and, you know, trying to use a platform like a book. She mentions that she wrote her first book and her, it, there was just way too much detail. This, this detail isn't really helpful in my opinion, uh, for, you know, for most people who are trying to just, uh, get advice and clarity on their own situations, hearing about what happened in this author's life and her experience of abuse. And in one sense it is helpful because I think every time we hear a story like this, uh, if this is your case, it resonates and you say, oh, wow, I'm not the only one that's had this experience. Equally, um, I think it detracted. I was looking for a very cut and dried manual almost of you've gone no contact, you've set your boundaries and here is what the roadmap looks like for recovery. And I didn't really find that much uh, in this book. So I've mentioned two very good subreddits. One is life after narcissism. The one is estranged adult child. Uh, adult children, I think, adult children. Anyway, look it up on Reddit. And um, I'm gonna continue uh, the process of searching for this subset of the literature where we're not talking about, uh, you know, the ABCs or the 101s of recognizing gaslighting, recognizing, uh, you know, uh, codependency, knowing what flying monkeys are, knowing what the usual tactics look like in toxic or narcissistic family systems. We're looking for the next step. We, it's, we want to put it past us. We want to deal with our natural feelings of grief that come with separating from our uh, birth family. And that is certainly uh, something that the author talks about, those feelings of grief, which are inevitable. She likens it to death, actually, death of a loved one. Um, but we're looking for uh, more recovery oriented resources. So yeah, it was definitely, I mean, I, I don't regard it as a, as a bad book or as a bad purchase. I think I gave it a three stars on Amazon because there, there is good info there, but unfortunately I didn't find it the uh, roadmap to recovery that I was looking for. If anyone watching this video happens to know of such a book um, or such books, uh, please do uh, drop me a comment on YouTube because uh, for me right now, the search is going on. 
Thank you guys for watching. And if you want to get more videos, feel free to subscribe to this YouTube channel.